What happened? I don't know. This snapped. These weren't made too well, obviously. <clears throat> oh. It's gone right into the tonneau cover, too. How am I going to do that? I need to get a little something in here to lift this up. To bend this over. So this one snapped right here. See? It snapped. And then if you look right here, you can see where it bent and hit the uh, tonneau cover. And same thing here. This one, this one snapped. That's actually pretty scary. I gotta be careful how I drive right now. And I gotta check my electrical out because I can see that it's moved as well. Uh, but two brackets snapped, one at the front, one at the back. And it's doing this right now, or actually doing this. I got two that are held on. One bracket's kind of bent. That'll be the next one that snaps. But it hit, the part of it hit the uh, truck and it's actually gone through the paint. So I just did a paint touch up because I've got the black and the orange on there. You'll never know um, unless I do a claim on it. Um, I'm just surprised that those brackets snapped. Um, they were manufactured for this and uh, they just didn't hold up. So that's actually kind of a surprise. Um, I don't know. I gotta be really careful how I drive right now though. The bumpy roads could have done it as well. Uh, but that explains some of that noise that we were hearing. But, you know, with that pressure and the wind and everything like that, I don't want this thing to go flying off. Oh. Just what I need right now. Anyway, let's go wash the truck in. talking to Lee over at Doghouse. I got to get this back in to get these these um, cover clamps, whatever you want to call them. They basically extend it up so that you can have access to your cover, which my cover doesn't work anyway, so because it only opens part way. Um, so I don't know if it's even worthwhile doing that. Maybe just lower it. I'll talk to Lee when we get there. Um, but yeah, two of them snapped. Uh, the front one uh, and then the back one. And then this front one here is bent. So I've got two right now that are holding the things together. So I have a uh, strap on right now that's kind of holding things together. Um, I have it going through the rack and then onto the bed, just as an extra precaution. Um, I'll be seeing Lee on Friday and we're gonna get this fixed and um, figure out why they snapped they, sh they sheared right at the uh the bend both in the exact same spot too uh there is some damage to the tonneau cover on both spots um i plan on replacing that eventually anyway so i mean this one the front one on this side is actually worse it kind of gouged right into it but the worst damage is actually on the side of the truck um, I did clean it and then throw some black paint on it. Uh, and you can't even tell because of the, the wrap and all that. Um, but what happened was that the whole front end just kind of went down. And then I've got the the two rhino rack clamps on there that hold the shovel and the um, axe. And the one of them I gouged right into the, uh, the truck, um, right down through the paint and through the wrap. So I cleaned it painted it and hopefully I have no issues there um, kind of bugs me now though but it's part of the adventure and part of the journey but that adventure where we snapped that oh that sure felt good it really felt good 
I needed that. I really needed that. And I'm glad that we went. Was there damage? Yep. I'm glad that whole tent and rack didn't fly off. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's scary. But get down to Lee now. So for now, you can see I just strapped the tent down. This one here, as you can see, this one's broken. You can see what damage is done to the tonneau cover as well. It ate right into that. Right down into the cover. It just sheared off right there. Same with the other side. This one's fine. It's a little bit bent. But this one here, you can see. It did a bit of damage to the cover, not much. But it's also, for some reason, pulled the wires, I guess. So this is on, even though it's off. So I've got to check that out for some reason. But yeah, you can see where it just sheared it. And then this one's fine. But again, bent. So I got this on here just in case to uh, make sure that this doesn't fly off. Let's go get it fixed. fixed that sheared off this one's bent snapped now I have that that's on this because this whole thing kind of got pulled um, this I need to fix you can see where this kind of got pulled this broke so I gotta seal that um, so I got uh, can see the connection here somewhere in here I gotta fix that. This one bent, and then this one sheared right off. And you can see where this piece here came down and gouged the truck right there. So I touched it up with some paint because it kind of blends in with everything else. But you can definitely see that it's with the straps right now. Wish I guess I could take off. So we're at Doghouse, the warehouse. He's got to get a forklift in here. We'll lift it up, take those off, replace them, and we're good to go. conclusion that it is um, the reason that those things snapped was because of the roads and that I need to slow down <laughs> which I agree um, so taking it a little bit more cautiously I'll air down next time make it a bit softer um, I was doing the speed limit but that doesn't mean I need to do the speed limit because the roads were pretty bumpy um, I don't know if it was the roads or those last few speed bumps um, that did it, but uh, those were the first um, risers, whatever you want to call them, for this kind of setup. So the new ones are a little bit better, thicker, 
um, been pre-drilled, everything. So, um, yeah, hopefully this thing doesn't fly off. I always worry about things once they've just been fastened on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna find out. But that's Doghouse. Um, great guys, great bunch of crew that to work with. Love working with them, love dealing with them. Um, just all around great guys. So um, that's Doghouse Tents. So the one difference I do here is I don't hear that squeaking anymore because it was rubbing, um, which is good. It feels more solid right now too. Um, I see less vibration in it, and I don't have that strap back there either, which is nice. That was right, right across my, my eye line, or my sight line. So, um, yeah. Thanks guys, it's awesome. I need to drive better. So realistically, that only took us about 45 minutes. Um, if we had everything kind of in place, uh, it would have been a little bit quicker. But there are eight bolts on the top that need to come off. And then there's also the tonneau rubber, the tonneau rubber, tonneau cover that we need to slide everything past. So those bolts had to come off in order to get those risers off. Um, so overall, pretty easy. Uh, not as painless as we all thought it was gonna be. Uh, and we're off and running. I love it.